Good morning, my beautiful soul family, my soul tribe tribe. Some of you guys like when I say that, my soul tribe, my soul tribe tribe. I don't know why, but maybe because they're lazy to place it from John's. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know why you guys like that so much, but I feel like it's because you're you're a part of the tribe and it resonates and it makes you feel good inside. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, this message this morning, it's going to be a, this, this post is going to be a little bit of a weird one. Paranormal. I'm going to talk about paranormal because I had an experience last night. So if paranormal is not your jam, keep scrolling. Okay. So if I ended up on your for you page, I'm not sure why. If you're not into this kind of stuff, I don't know why I would end up on your For You page. And if you're my friend and you follow me, why do you follow me? Because you literally know, like, you, I mean, you gotta know. I mean, my page is full of it. Like, I'm a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I talk about spiritual stuff. I talk about paranormal stuff. So, if that's not your jam, just keep scrolling. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm an intuitive empath. I, I, I'm not, I don't really use labels. I don't walk around like I'm an intuitive empath. And, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't identify and, and walk around and I'm not like, that's just not me. But I, I have the gift of an intuitive empath and the, the gift of mediumship. I just don't use, I don't use my gifts to make money. However, I do do readings, like tarot card readings, readings and stuff like that, but I do not do mediumship. Um, I was just guided not to. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. So if this st kind of stuff is not your jam, just keep scrolling. And with that being said, side note, before I actually share my story with you, we are all intuitive empaths, okay? Because you were created by a God, source, creator, power, something Something of a higher power created you. Something magnificent created you. So that creator's DNA, power, energy, whatever you want to call it, literally runs through your blood. Sorry, I was just passing my cousin. So it runs through your blood. It's in your body. It's in your DNA. So you too are an intuitive empath. Just some of us are more in tune than others. Okay, so with that being said, the most, I had the weirdest day yesterday, and not just me. So, I don't know, I, okay, so I was with my cousin yesterday. I have to be careful with my words, because I have trolls on my page, and they're just waiting to get, like, little nuggets of info, so that they can just, like, take that and run with it. So, I was with my cousin yesterday, and we were riding, uh, riding around, and, um, she says to me, Gabby, I've been seeing, she goes, you know, I used to see numbers. She goes, but since I've been with you lately, I'm starting to see numbers every day. And I've been seeing four, 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 four. And I thought that was amazing because not only her, but a, another person that, um, I'm usually with Monday through Friday also sees numbers and, um, he also sees 44 and 444. Now, my cousin and this other person, they both had children that they lost. And um, now, suddenly, the other person is starting to see the fours, and he just thinks that this is just like a beautiful experience, right? And my cousin is seeing the fours. Now, I'm not saying that this is their children, but that's the energy that I feel. But I ask them, what is it that you're feeling when you see it? And they also say that they feel like it's their, you know, their child coming through, letting them know that they are here. So now I've been doing these. I've been with these two people frequently. Sorry, I'm being a little like weird. Read between the lines because, again, I have trolls on my page. And I don't want them to really know stuff. I know that kind of sounds stupid, right? I should just say because I really don't care, but whatever. Um, so these people have been seeing these numbers. And 
it's like our energies are entwining and I'm like teaching them how to tune into their energy. Like I tell you guys or show you guys how to tune into your energy because I tell them that everything is energy. The, the universe is always talking about you. You're the co-creator of this reality. And when, you know, because they lost a loved one, I'm, I'm always reminding them that just because they dropped their body doesn't mean that they're gone forever. They're still here. They're just not in this avatar. They, they don't have an avatar at the moment. They dropped the body, but they're still here. And I said, just ask for a sign and you will receive it. You just have to be open to receive it. Well, they're both receiving signs and it's, it's weird because both of them are receiving the same sign of the number fours, but they know each other longer. They know each other longer. So maybe their energies are entwined in that way. Quant quantum entanglement. I think that's what we're all experiencing right now. It's quantum entanglement. So yesterday was like a high vibe day and it was Friday the 13th. Okay. And I don't think I'm, I don't look at Friday the 13th as like a bad day. I actually think of it as a high vibe day and it's a lucky number. Number 13 is a lucky number for me. So all day long, we're seeing these numbers as we're driving. And then my cousin said, you should just like record this. Like nobody's going to believe us within a matter of 10 minutes. We were seeing four, four, three, three, zero, zero, two, 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 eleven. Then we are seeing the number 38, which equals 11. Then we're seeing number two, four, five, which equals 11. And it wasn't like I was like searching for the numbers. Like, okay, let me find number 11. Let me find, um, double digit, you know, numbers so I could record this. It was literally like I was recording and I would turn my head left five, five. I would turn my head right four, four. I would look in front of me zero, zero. I would look over to the building on the wall, two, four, five. I would pass a truck 11. I would pass another truck and the license plate would be 38. I'd pass another car, 83, 11, 55. My speedometer right now is 55. Like, um, you guys will just say, I know some of you guys are skeptical about it, but that that's just not how I play in life. I know everything is energy and the universe is always trying to talk to us. We're just not listening. You have to understand light language. You have to be able to decode the message. You have to learn the language. We live in this simulation, which is created by a bunch of zeros and ones. And then the universe is mathematic and it talks to us in numbers. And all of these numbers are popping up. And I like to think of them as cheat codes and they're telling you something like they're literally telling you something they're, they're, they're either telling you that you're doing a good job, you're on the right path, or they're giving you a message or spirit, a loved one is coming through and trying to have a conversation with you through light language. Now that this is what I call light language, but there's other people in the spiritual community that call light language frequent. Um, I don't know what they actually call it, but it's when they talk in frequency. It's kind of like when you catch the Holy ghost and you're, you're talking, but when you catch the Holy ghost, you're speaking in Aramaic. When you're speaking in light language, you're literally just making a bunch of noises with your mouth. Like, uh, like I don't want to like imitate it because I don't want to make it as if I am making fun of them, but look up light language and you'll see people that communicate and speak in light language. It's, it's like they're speaking in frequency. It's like they're making a bunch of clicking, clacking and tones with their, with their voice and it means something and there's a message within that frequency um which i i resonate with that too but um i also because everything is energy this is a form of light language manifesting so that i can see it in front of me and so yesterday the universe had a full-blown conversation with us um i made a bit i put up a video yesterday I put up a little nuggets of what certain things meant, but I didn't decode the whole message because it was actually a private message. It was only for us. And I just thought it was beautiful. And, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, but that's not the only weird thing that happened to me yesterday. After that, this video is not long enough for me to share, but it, my day just got weirder, weirder. So I'm going to post this and then I'll probably post a second video because I want to share with you what happened later on that evening.